All right. Look at you. Awesome. <laughs> this is 30. Very cute. Oh, where are you going? You're too cute and we're going to be late. I didn't do a good enough job this morning and I fucked up his naps. Ah, the mum guilt is honestly like endless. and he wasn't interested in any boob but he's just having a lovely time playing in bed but he's getting so distracted by the camera like he keeps wanting to turn around and look at it no <laughs> no <laughs> oh dear we'll just have to vlog like this all day <laughs> no right <laughs> Rowan is on the bed playing with his feet and talking to himself, so I'm going to use this opportunity to have a shower and get ready. Dan is still asleep. I'm actually feeling all right this morning, but that's because I was feeling like shit yesterday, and I just went to bed at the same time as Rowan, and I was asleep by quarter to eight, so... This 24 hours with a six month old vlog is sponsored by HelloFresh. This box arrived yesterday, we actually had one of the meals last night and we're gonna be having another one for dinner tonight. So yeah, some more about them later. But for now, I need breakfast. <laughs> Welcome to 24 hours with a six month old. Rowan is six months. Aren't you? You are whole six months old. You trying to get in the vlog? No. So, <laughs> Rowan. <laughs> Do you just want to eat mummy's hand? Is it tasty? Yeah? All right, you. It is 8 a.m. Dan left to work about 15 minutes ago and I have work this afternoon. So this morning, it's mummy and Rowan time. Yes. If you didn't know, I work part time. Rowan goes to a childminder four days a week, but half days. Rowan, your face. That's gonna block you. <laughs> you, you. Oh, God. So, my baby. So if you didn't know, Rowan goes to a childminder four days a week, half days and I work part-time. And today is one of the days where I have him in the morning and he goes in in the afternoon. So we are just chilling out. I always have to have something to do. Isn't that right? I can't even <laughs> handle <laughs> parenting solo for just a half day without like activities. So today there is like a baby toddler sing-along sing-song thing at our local library. So I'm gonna try and make it 
to that. And then also, I've got Strictly results to catch up on. And you love Strictly, don't you? <laughs> yes! So, yeah. I'm gonna take you through a full Owen. Oh my God, this is gonna be so different to the one with the newborn because he's so distracted and he wants to play with everything that it looks like I'm playing with. He is like fully twisting himself around to try and grab this camera and he grabbed it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Welcome. Right, gonna get Rowan dressed for the day, which means picking some clothes. Oh yes. So when I was pregnant, I watched so many how I organize my baby drawers videos. Have I reached that aesthetic? No, but this is actually the tidiest that you'll probably see them because we recently did a big clear out of all of his three to six month clothes that he doesn't fit into anymore. So <laughs> it's fairly tidy in here. We've got all of his vests, some trousers and tops, onesies, dungarees. Then we have all of the jackets and cardigans. And then on this side is reusable nappies, which mostly use if I know that we're just gonna be at home all day because we had some like pee leakages, but since he's gotten a bit bigger, we haven't had as many of those, but I'm still not completely confident with them. And I'm definitely not confident using them out and about. And then in here is wipes, cotton pads, muslins, just, all of that chaos. And then what's in here? I don't actually remember. Oh yeah, sleep suits, bibs, socks. Yeah. Right, can I get you dressed please? Come on! You just wanna put all your clothes in your mouth. Fair enough. So I accidentally dress Rowan similar to me quite often. Seeing as I'm vlogging today, I'm just dressing us the same intentionally. Isn't that gonna be fun? You got your socks. Du -du -du. All right! Look at you! I think Rowan's getting tired and it's time for his first nap, but I just picked him up and as I stood up, I realized I need the toilet. So I'm gonna put you down again and then have a wee and then I can try and get him down to sleep because he'll probably end up sleeping on me and then I'll be trapped and then I won't be able to go for a wee, so. Strictly come dancing, it's making me cry. Of course. <laughs> He's fallen asleep, nap one of the day. Um, but I realized I made a grave error because I only have this much water left. So we're just gonna see how far that can take me. I'm watching my new obsession, which is uh, Kirsty and Phil's Love It or List It, like a home renovation program. <laughs> this is 30. I'm just gonna let the little one have a nap on me. We still do lots of contact naps when we can, just cause it's easier. And I am still exclusively breastfeeding, so gets fed to sleep most of the time. And then I pump for when he's at his charminders. I actually forgot to get milk out of the freezer last night for him for this afternoon and I remembered at 6 a.m. And so I like couldn't go back to sleep and I just like got out of bed and <laughs> took some milk out of the freezer. So hopefully it's defrosted enough for when he's at his child minus this afternoon. And I said I was feeling all right this morning but now I feel like shit again. So oh, I'm just gonna lie here with this little baby on me and watch some telly. Except he's not little, he's big, <laughs> he's big. Oh. I could attempt to try and put him down in the bed and have a nap with him. I could do that, but I wanna watch. I wanna watch the renovations. I wanna see the floor plans. I love a good floor plan. The floor plans weren't keeping me awake. I feel so shit and tired. So I attempted to take him into the bedroom. But he woke up as soon as I put him down. And now I'm trying to feed him back to sleep with his eyes are wide awake. You're just wide awake now, aren't you? <laughs> are you just wide awake now? You didn't even sleep for 20 minutes and mommy needs a nap. Are you just awake now? The risk didn't pay off. It didn't pay off. Am I fine? But you're so cute. You're so cute. Yeah, you're wide awake. <laughs> okay. Do we get on with the day then? Do we get on with the day? <laughs>
<laughs> what should we do then? What should we do? Right, we need to head out soon if we're going to make this singing thing at the library. Rome was starting to get a bit grizzly, so I'm going to try and do like a little top up feed before we leave. Turns out, filming with a six month old who you face you don't want to share online. Difficult. Say hi, Rowan. Dee -dee 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 -dee. He's fine now. He's chill now once he's hanging out on me. Just was getting grizzly on his map. Why didn't you do a long nap? Baby is fed, so now we have the job of getting him ready, me ready, and the buggy ready to go out. Gotta check, we've got enough nappies. That'll do, we're not going out for long. Pick a jacket for Rowan. If we're going full matching, I'm planning on wearing my grey cardigan, so we'll just go grey. Hey! already so hungry again so I think I'm gonna have to pick up some snacks before heading to the library because oh my goodness breastfeeding just makes you so hungry all of the time and oh my goodness this Sun <laughs> is also directly in Rowan's eyes excellent mm. Mm. oh my god had a lovely time at the library doing the singing. It's so cute seeing like the older babies and toddlers like properly interacting with it all. I'm like, Rowan had an okay time. I thought I would walk the long way home in the hopes that he would go down for a nap and he instantly passed out. So poor little tired baby is hopefully gonna get a bit of a longer nap now. So I'm gonna walk around for as much as possible because I have to drop him at his childminders in an hour. And I also have to do a turnaround at home. Like I have to grab his milk. It's also a fancy dress day at his childminders. So dressing up as his mother doesn't count, but I bought some outfits on vintage and so I'll need to change him, feed him and get his milk, then go to his childminders. But I also really want him to do a long nap. I mean, if he doesn't do a long nap, the joys of having childcare is that I just hand him off to them and just go, here you go, you deal with him now. Although he is an absolute angel. Now we're doing a bit of a walk and listening to my audiobook. I have no time to read physical books right now, but I do a lot of walking, so I have lots of time for audiobooks. I'm currently listening to Infamous by none other than Lex Croucher, and it is excellent. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. But after I finish reading this, that's all of the audiobooks that I had downloaded and ready to listen to done, other than The Way of Kings. Don't know if I feel up for starting that like 40 50 hour book Ooh. so i need to figure out what i want to read next because i think i'm already like halfway through infamous we're home rowan is still asleep in the buggy so i'm gonna try and get everything ready <laughs> do i wake him up to feed him my boobs are gonna need it and he's gonna need it because i don't know if i've got enough defrosted milk if i don't feed him before we leave so much like mental arithmetic with parenting i swear to god there's so much stuff you just be like wait do i do this and like all the calculations that you have to make stressy absolutely everything ready see where we're at see if he just wakes up by himself if not decisions need to be made okay he's awake he's fed he's dressed i can't handle it it's too cute you're too cute and we're gonna be late and we're gonna be late oh dear we had such a chill morning, obviously, and now 
I'm like stressing out so much because I picked him up out of his buggy, he woke up, put him on the boob. He started falling asleep on the boob. I was like, no, 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 I need to get you dressed. I should have done this the other way around. So now I got him dressed, but then he was upset. So I was like, okay, other boob. And now it looks like he might be falling asleep again, but it usually like takes him a bit of time and we're already going to be late to the childminders if we leave now, which means I'm going to be late starting work, which means I've got less time to do work. Are you done? Can we put you in your buggy? <sighs> and the, you know, his milk isn't defrosted. I'm just like, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I put you in your buggy, you'd be good. No, you're still hungry. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, you're off again. We just, we just gotta go. We gotta go. Is that okay? We gotta go. All right, I am babyless and heading home and only 10 minutes late. Although I just feel completely frazzled and stressed out and hungry. So as soon as I get home, I'm just gonna eat some quick lunch and take some deep breaths. Honestly, I feel like I need to completely reset myself. I feel a bit shit, to be honest, because I feel like some days with Rowan or like some mornings or afternoons, like whenever I have him, Sometimes I come away from it like, yeah, that was good. We did a good job today. But today is not one of those days. <laughs> I just feel like I wasn't a good mum because I interrupted all of his naps and timings were off and uh, I don't know. He's now obviously gonna have a great time at his childminders, but I just, uh, I don't know. I just like feel like I didn't do a good enough job this morning and I fucked up his naps. Ah, the mum guilt is honestly like endless, but I'm no good to anyone dwelling on it. And so I just like need to go home, eat something, reset and like focus on work for the next few hours before I go pick him up and <laughs> try again. Oh man. Right, I'm back home, I've eaten. I don't feel like I've properly reset. I still feel frazzled, but I need to crack on. There's a lot to do. I also have a million and one like personal life, family admin tasks roaming around in my brain, like taking up mental real estate, which I really don't want them to be. One thing I could do is do those things that are bothering me that are like me, 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 in my brain. But I don't want to use like my work time to do life stuff, which I can try and get done when Dan is back and we can do together. Oh, I just. I don't know why I've completely derailed this day. Like, <laughs> it may not seem it to you, but I felt like so mentally with it when I started this vlog this morning and now I feel so mentally out of control. <laughs> Even though I'm just gonna like sit on my laptop for a bit and like work on some video scripts. I need to schedule this week's videos and podcast on Patreon. Prep for the videos tomorrow morning. I've got some brand Instagram story content that I need to make and send over to the brand. And then I need to attack my emails if I have time at the end of doing all of that. If not, those emails will get snoozed until tomorrow, but let's do this. I need a nap. Okay, let's go. Oh my goodness. I've not even had really any time to vlog, but I'm done. Oh my God. And now I need to pump because I can feel my boobs going and I'm gonna try and do as much emails as possible whilst pumping. And then I need to leave to go and pick up my baby. And I'm generally so excited to see him. I don't normally get like this. Like normally I'm pretty neutral about the whole thing, but I think because I felt really bad about this morning, I'm just like, I just want to squeeze his little face again. Right, pumping, pumping! Do -do -do -do, this is the situation. Off we go. Oh, we have let down. We got 40 mils out of one boob, but 100 mils out of the other. So that should be enough for Rowan tomorrow. And I just remembered that in just a few minutes, a journalist is calling me um, for an interview and I told them to call me at this time because then I'd be like walking to go get Rowan and that's the kind of multitasking we do here. But I need to put this in the fridge and I need to clean that stuff and then I need to get ready to go get Rowan and put some headphones in my ears so I can do this call. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We are back home. I took the long way back because when I went to pick him up, he was already asleep in his buggy, weren't you? And then we took the long way back and then you woke up when we were at the shops because I got myself some cookies. Mm, 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 you cute little pirate. This might be my favorite place in the house. It's just like sitting 
in this corner on the sofa with my pillow around me and him feeding on my lap. It's very good. You looking at the telly? <laughs> what a beautiful noise, Rob. Have you had a good day? Are you still tired? You're tired, mate. Oh. Lots of eye rubbing on, isn't it? Right, it is dinner time. Dad is back. Rowan just had a massive feed. Didn't you? Hiya. So Dan is playing with Rowan and I'm going to cook some dinner. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Now I love me some HelloFresh. I am a recipe box kind of gal. I am not imaginative or intuitive in my cooking at all. The thing is, is that I love cooking, but I just need somebody to tell me what to do. And I've used HelloFresh for years and I've eaten so many different foods that I would never have come up with myself. And the thing now with like having Rowan and not having a lot of time is that I can kind of pick recipes to get in my box that are like the short ones. So we're doing a rapid 20 minute this evening. We are making some Harissa spiced beef pilaf. Pilaf? Pilaf. You discovered orzo from HelloFresh. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. and polenta. I'm not a fan of polenta, but I do love me some orzo, which I also discovered through HelloFresh. I discovered paneer through HelloFresh. Never knew that existed and now I love me a good paneer curry. So yeah, Dan is the chef in the house and it's approved by him as well. I am but a measly sous chef. If you want to try- Lime cook. Lime cook? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm an excellent chopper. But yeah, if you want to try HelloFresh, you can get 50% off your first box and then 35% off your next three boxes with three free gifts when you use my code MORE50. Let's cook now. about 20 minutes and I was vlogging it. Pretty good. Does Rowan want some food as well? I think so. All right, let's do it. Dinner is served with some yogurt and this is Rowan's dinner. <laughs> mm, delicious broccoli, Rowan. Mm -hmm. Aren't you a lucky boy? Yeah, grab it. Good lad. Straight in the mouth. <laughs> this is a massive portion as well, it's huge. You have to learn how to swallow, Rowan. It's part of growing up. Do you like it? Delicious, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, fair enough. That's not how spoon works, Rowan. <laughs> Don't forget, click the link in the description and to use the code MORE50 to get 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes with three free gifts. And yeah, thank you so much, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. How many hours in are we? We're only just 12 hours in. <laughs> What fun! Well, it's the next 12 hours for that in store. But at least you're letting us eat dinner together. That's like relatively new. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Dan is doing bath time with Rowan. Yeah, did you hear bath time? <laughs> we like take the changing mat from the other room and put it on the bathroom floor and he absolutely loves it like he just goes so hyperactive especially like for his towel that's like dangling above him when dan just went to go and grab the mat and rowan was with him rowan just like got so overexcited i'm like ah oh, do you know what's happening have you figured it out i'm gonna go chill out for a bit and then i'll be bath time bedtime assistant and boob in a bit look at you <laughs> We're done with it. <laughs> Can you reach it? <laughs> Very good. Everything is gay. Or maybe he's actually not that tired. <laughs> Are you tired, Rowan? Shall we read a story? Rowan, 
which one do you want? Shh, we have a plan. Love makes a family. Or together. I think shh. I think I think it's shh. Shh. We have a plan. Look, a bird. Ready? Three. Malarkey. How's it go? What's different now to the last 24 hours of Lark, which was when he was a month old? He's bigger. He's bigger. We have a bedtime routine. He sits up. He sleeps in the bed with us now. Dan slept on the floor a couple of times because Rowan takes up so much space. <laughs> You're at work. Oh, yeah, I'm at work. I'm at work then. Yeah, that's true. This is really great content. So we filmed the 24 hours of a newborn video when Rowan was a month old and I didn't see the first edit of that video until I was back from maternity leave. So he was about three or four months old then. And I remember watching that edit and seeing myself trying to soothe this crying baby with him on my chest sat down. And I was just like screaming at my screen like, Hannah, stand up with him, stand up. Like that will solve all your issues. And I wonder if there'll be anything in like a few months time that I'll be the same, just like screaming at my computer, just like, for God's sake, Hannah, just do this one thing. I found it very frustrating watching that video back and putting it out there as well. I wanted to be like, I know better now. I'm not gonna stay up late as much as I would like to. What do we have to watch, Rick and Morty? Can you put your hand on my forehead? Boop. Thank you. <laughs> it's bedtime for me because who knows how much he'll be up in the night. He's honestly such a good baby other than night sleep. That's the one thing we don't have. Rowan has never slept through. He does a long-ish sleep first thing and then the rest of the night it's just like <sighs> every two hours. I don't think I've had more than four hours sleep in a row in, a, in six months. Oh, my love, it's time for you to go to the land of Nord. Mm. What are you going to do? Are you going to watch us on the monitor? Yep, the nighttime voyeur. <laughs> Sometimes I get a bit of thigh on the monitor. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Said roll over. It's based on real events, that song. Dad's gonna have a go trying to get it down. Now the test is if he rolls over and cries. But he looks pretty out of it, just needed daddy's touch. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more sleep.
Good morning. We made it through the night, <laughs> through the 24 hours. Did you we? Dan couldn't get back to sleep after he got Rowan down, so he went off to work early. <laughs> yeah! Daddy's already gone to work, Rowan. <laughs> but yeah, not the best night, not the worst night. And now we have to do all over again. Yay! There you go. That has been 24 hours with a six month old. Being a part time working mum, exclusively breastfeeding, bed sharing, all that jazz. <laughs> Say bye, Rowan. Say, hope you enjoyed the video. Say, like and subscribe. We don't have to get up for a while, so. Should we just lie here like this, Rowan? Thank you for watching. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring. Should we have a good day today? Yeah. Bye.